You guys should know by now that my DIY project locations vary a lot. Trust the old table saw, so slide it right off. It really feels industrial. Across the yard, fairly easy I think. You guys know we work outside our house, inside our house, in the yards, in the shop, in the garage, whatever it may be, it's so hard to keep a good consistent work surface. I'm hoping today this table will fix that problem. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike with Project Dad Life and today we are going to do an unboxing review of this Vivor multi-use construction welding table they sent me and hopefully it will be the perfect fit for me. Like a lot of you guys, one of my biggest issues is most of the projects and builds that I do are all over the place and a lot of the tools that I use to do those are tools that I don't use often enough to make a fixed table location for them. Well, number one, because I'm always moving them in and out of the shop to do the work. And number two, I just don't want a table to take up space like that in my shop for something you know I use maybe two or three times a month. So I'm hoping this table here will be the perfect solution to have something that I can throw up anywhere and set my table saw on it. I could set my chop saw on it. Um, I can weld on it if I have an outside or outdoor welding job. It should be very valuable. So, so far, this is pretty heavy. Now this, they sell it as a welding table slash multi-use work table is how it is sold. So it, of course, looks like it is in a million pieces. So we got a big old bag of bolts. Here's the instructions. They seem pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna set you guys up on time-lapse. I'm gonna assemble this thing and then we will put it to use. We'll review it and I'll give you guys a walk around on it and hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. Let's go. I want to swear and want swear. Vivor. Vivor, that is kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> so far we got everything unboxed it really feels industrial if you haven't seen this company it's called vivor and they're kind of an industrial tool supplier if you go on their website i'll put all the links below they have everything on there and the price versus quality of the stuff it seems pretty fair it seems like a website you can go to and get some good tools you know, for not like Snap-on, Maco, do all those prices. So go check them out. I'll put the link below. Are you ready to build? Yeah. You ready to build? Let's do it. High five. Walter, you're leaving daddy hanging. Yeah. Well, yeah. So what we're gonna do is done. We're gonna build a done. Last piece. I have everything put together. Now I'm just gonna get some wrenches and sockets and go through and tighten all the fasteners. Yeah. 
It's kind of heavy. Oh. Let's set it up how we're gonna use it and see how she does. One of the first things I can think of that this would be great for is a bench grinder. So let's hook this up here and see if we can quickly just clamp it up and turn it on because we all know that these aren't the most subtle things to run. <laughs> so we'll put a C-clamp on both sides of this. Now this is just a quick crude bolt up with a bench grinder just to see if it'll, it'll work. So it's got two C-clamps on it. It's pretty secure. Not bad. The trusty old table saw. This is probably what I would use it for the most. The biggest thing is going to be getting some clamps that work good. The C clamps seem to be ideal for this little groove they have going on. So I think it would be a matter of just having some C, some C clamps that stay with this table and you can pretty much get most of your stuff bolted down. Yeah, the C clamps definitely are the way to go. So I'm gonna set a bit two on, like if I'm setting this up in the field and using it how I kind of intend to, I'm not gonna be taking a long time setting, up, setting it up. You know, the whole point to the mobile table is something quick, throw it up, put your saw in there and make some cuts to run some trim on an outdoor porch or tree house or something like that. Another big one ought to be using this for is your chop saw. This is a 12 inch double bevel. So this is, I use this a lot for like porch, you know, heavy timber stuff, rough cut wood, you know, one by 12s. And again, it's really looking like the C-clamps are the best way to go. Again, this would be like a heavy timber situation. So you definitely have to have some saw horses on each end, but this would be a good mobile setup. And this is honestly what I would be using this for a lot. I think it's a fairly industrial built table for the money. Oh, that's nice. It actually slides off easy. So slide it right off and you're on to the next project. The last thing is storage. So the reason I would like this table and have a good use for it is to make sure that it saves shop space. All right, so this is about how it collapses and this is how it rolls around. So not too bad. This could definitely stand against the wall in the shop. You could roll it out across the yard. Fairly easy, I think. Then go to set it up. We just kind of kick it out. The only thing I did learn and recommend is these wing nuts that you can loosen up to angle the top. When you get it set up where you want it, which mine will probably be a flat level top, you definitely want to get some pliers and lock these wing nuts down. Uh, put a little torque on them. That really helps out with the stability of it. But all in all, it's a pretty nice table. I think you can get these things for around $100, if not a little cheaper. So something you could have plopped up in the corner, uh, stored up and then pulled out, have your chop saw on it when you're doing work outside, tree house, building fences. It would definitely be nice to have this set up because me personally, I end up not using, you know, the, some of the tools I want to use because I have no designated table to put them on when I'm outside the shop. So I think that would be a key feature here. And then remember, it does have the slag tray in it. Um, but this could catch anything, sawdust, whatever. And I was kind of thinking you could mount a bench grinder here permanently. It would be a nice worktop for a bench grinder 
and it would catch most of the metal shavings that fly out behind the bench grinder. So that would actually be a nice little addition. Just pull this thing out, empty your metal shavings. I mean, if you do a lot of bench grinding, I don't do a whole lot, but when I'm not using this thing, that's probably what I'll have it set up on. I'll probably just keep my bench grinder on here. That sums up the review and unboxing and assembly of the Vivor welding table slash workbench. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if I had to rate this table one out of five, I would probably give it a four. Um, a lot of that is because of the cost. It's very affordable. It has a lot of functions to it and is very versatile when it comes to setting up tools. For my needs, this table is gonna serve me very well since a lot of my DIY projects are just everywhere all over my property. So I'm excited to get some use out of this table and remember the product link for this exact table will be in the description below. Thank you guys for hanging out for another tool review. Please like, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of information and we will see you next week for another DIY project. Good job, bud.